trying to sit across the table from Xi Jinping. Give me the hard questions. LGBTQ. What's up? You heard me. I actually didn't. LGBTQ. Yep, what about it? Yeah, you just said there was nothing about transgender. Yeah, so I, how about this? I give you the mic, and we hear what you have to say. What is good? I go by Osiris. This is Middle Mega Vivek Ramaswamy, somebody who I have given a lot of credit to. In this case, I'm not all the way there with you, Vivek, and I have some comments in regards to this heckler. I give you the mic, and we hear what you have to say. And then I'm going to answer you, and you'll hear what I have to say, what everybody else here has to say. Does that sound like a good deal? I don't need the mic. Yes. I can speak louder. Well, stand up. Tell me your name and, and, and state your question. My name is Alexis Case, and I grew up here. Okay. In this town. Yeah. LGBTQ is a serious situation in this world today. There are children that get bullied because they are gay. They're lesbian. They're transgender. I don't need that. Okay, you're welcome to have it if you want. I don't need it. You get to ask your question, but after that, you're going to hear me give my answer. So I'll let you finish. What is your what is your stance on LGBTQ? This heckler, as you heard, said, "Hey, Vivek." What's up with the LGBTQ movement? What's your take on it? And I didn't like Vivek's response. He went to the trans is mental illness card. I believe that transgenderism specifically is a mental health disorder. <laughs> I believe it's a mental health condition. Okay. Well, I, no, no, no. We're going to finish this. This is good. I want. We have to have open conversation in this country. But I don't think the Not compassionate thing to do. Well, it's how they fucking feel. Well, let me, let me, let me, if I'm going to give you a chance to respond if you'd like, but no, we I can't have an open think. debate in this country if we're not I able to state our views. That's how they feel. This is, I don't even need to go. I'm not saying I disagree. I don't know actually enough to say that one way or the other. I'm not disagreeing. I just don't think you need to go there. What, what does that, I don't really care to be honest with you, if it's a mental illness or not, as long as you, you and I can live in a society together. That's the big question. There's a lot of things that people do that that might be mental illness and they might not be, including myself. But uh, here's what I would say. I would say something to the effect of I'm running for president of the United States to this young, and I believe it's a biological woman. A uh, young lady, I'm running for president of the United States. What does your fixation with having a carpet and wanting to lick other carpets or having a banana and sucking other bananas, or having a banana and wanting to cut the banana off, or any combination permutation of that madness. What does that have to do with it? I'm running for president of the United States of America. I was just talking about, who knows, China or the, or the border, uh, big country issues. What the hell does this have to do with anything? I think the woman was trying to bring up bullying. Everybody gets bullied. Anybody can get bullied. Was that there's not there's nothing that where LGBTQ people own this victimhood of getting bullied. What do you want me to do as a president on that? Maybe there's something legitimate, but it has to cover the whole country, not just your your sect. Why are you telling me this? I don't care. <laughs> You're gay. Great. You want a cookie? What do you want? An award? Is there a gay award you want from me? What do you want? An accommodation? For being black or gay or whatever else I did, Jewish, whatever, Christian. What do you want from me, a cookie? I don't want to know your sexual preferences. That's number one. Do you want to know what my sexual preferences are? I once joked that I was going to start a, I wanted to make D, D as in doggy style, a part of the LGBTQ community. Why can't we be involved? Just give us a different color on the rainbow and you'll have a little symbol of a doggy style. Yeah, that's little mu too much information, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I didn't ask you if you were gay. I don't know what this has to do with anything. We don't even know each other. Why are you leading with that? What's your name? <laughs> He's like, I don't even know your name. 
I know you're gay. I know you like to do whatever, and I don't even know who you are. If somebody wants to define themselves by these preferences or identities, whatever, it's it's legal. But in order for us to coexist peacefully, that's my concern here now. The number one thing we need to do is set boundaries. I'm going to give you some boundaries. Number one, you cannot force me to call you something. If you are a biological woman and it doesn't matter if I'm wrong or not. I don't know. I don't, I'm not looking at your birth certificate. I'm hearing that they might be switching those up now, too. They, I saw Dylan Mulvaney got, allegedly got a F for female on, on his passport. This is what I have been working with. Hello? Hello? Just got my new passport. Let's see. Show me an F for female. Show me an F for female. F for female. Woohoo! And I look pretty good. That's a sign that you're not going in a good place as a nation. You can't force me. I don't care if you're Dylan Mulvaney or any else or Google or whatever else. We, we've let our country fall so Google can ban me or whatever else. Fuck you. I don't care. You cannot force me to call you something. If I want to call you a bitch, I'll call you a bitch. If I want to call you her, I'll call you her. You can ask. You can make a request. But I don't have to honor it. This is... We're setting healthy boundaries. I don't even know you. Don't tell me I need to call you something. I don't even, we don't even have a relationship. And I can't do the same in reverse. I can ask questions, but I can't force you to call me something. I can't force you to call me Megatron or Optimus Prime or Osiris or whatever other names or pronouns. Also, when it comes to children, Vivek is just absolutely dead wrong. To say when a kid shows up and says, my gender doesn't match my biological sex, you have to be able to say, what else is going wrong at home? What else might be going wrong at school? Get to the bottom of what's going on. Help that person with compassion, with dignity. So my view is this, if you're an adult, you're free to live your life however you want as long as you're not hurting somebody else. If you're a man, you can dress how you want. If you're a woman, you can dress how you want. Identify how you want. We're a free country and I'm not gonna stop you. But kids are not the same as adults. What you do there is none of my business, assuming it's legal. If we're talking about a medical decision, that's between you as a parent and your child. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Ain't got nothing to do with the government or anyone else. So if I want, if I say, nah, my child's not taking a vaccine, that's my decision and their mom, my wife, our family decision. Ain't got nothing to do with Uncle Sam. Ain't got nothing to do with you. Ain't got nothing to do with Vivek. And it's the same if you want to do any type of gender affirming care or whatever. That's between you, your child, as a parent, and the doctor. We need consistency there. That's the border. So not only was Vivek's answer bad, in my opinion, he crossed the line. Crucial questions that should be asked are about trust, shared constitutional values, and cultural compatibility to establish a common moral foundation. Are you okay with the Colorado Supreme Court civilly deciding that Donald Trump broke the law in a civil side and was an insurrectionist? Are you okay with that or not? I don't care if you're gay. I want those type of questions answered because if you are okay with that, then we shouldn't, I can't change that, but we should not be sharing a society together. And you can have your opinion, and I can have mine. We are just incompatible. If you really think a biological male can be a woman, we can't share anything together. We can be peaceful. We have to acknowledge our differences. We see the world a, a different way. But that's a fundamental issue, and that has nothing to do with being gay. It's a cultural thing. Another example. See, Vivek could have went here because he's big in the ESG. We can't have asset management firms who are too big to fail. We just saw that during the pandemic. They got broke off trillions of dollars from, from us, taxpayers. And they're the same ones funding certain companies that do a LGBTQ agenda. That's not constitutional. That's literal fascism. And that's not okay. But that has nothing to do with LGBTQ people. Either you understand what's happening and you think it's okay or you don't. And that's all opinion. If you do think it's okay, we need to separate. That's all this is about. I don't care if you're LGBTQ. We don't, if we don't have healthy boundaries, if you're non-LGBTQ and we don't have healthy boundaries, this ain't going to work. 
We need a close enough interpretation of the Constitution. How do we figure that out? We just, there's no magical answer to that. Might need to break into multiple different parts. You, people who believe in Sharia law can't function under the Constitution. It's impossible. We can't share a society. It's an impossible, impossibility. And that's where my concern is. So, ma'am, you know my positions on these different constitutional issues. You, I've talked about what happened to J6ers. I don't care if your gay ass is gay. What's your take on those fundamental things? Middle MAGA.